I know. I just think Rogan is unfairly getting heat for all this stuff. I mean, he's, you know, people are criticizing him about the comments that have been made by mostly by his guests, but in some cases by him about COVID and about the science and, and what kinds of, um, uh, you know, how effective are the vaccines and what kind of treatment can you have and everything else. And I'm thinking to myself, and this is the reason that Neil Young pulled his music off of Spotify. And I think who else did? There was, um, I think the Crosby, Stills and Nash did it. Joni Mitchell did it. Um, and I'm just thinking to myself, this is a podcaster, okay? It's not like he's your personal doctor giving you a recommendation on what you should do if you get sick. This is a, he's a comedian. He's an MMA announcer. He's a dude with a microphone. I mean, if you're getting medical, taking medical advice seriously from someone like Joe Rogan, you've got some serious problems. It's not Joe Rogan's fault, man. That's your fault. Look in the mirror. Oh my God. Um, so I think he's just getting so much heat. And I think the reality of this, the reason he's getting so much heat is because he's so damn popular. That's unbelievable amount of listenership, viewership. I mean, compare that to a broadcast on CNN or Fox News or MSNBC. I mean, he just dwarfs them. So a lot of this, uh, the traditional media, I think, are coming down on him mostly because he said these things about COVID, but really they're trying to tear the guy down because he's a competitive force. And so now, now we're starting to see, you know, there's accusations of racism. And I think a lot of that is overblown. And, and yeah, I did see India Ari's video that she shared uh, a bunch of clips all taken out of context, you know, where, where Rogan was saying the N word, but in all, almost all of those cases, it's not like he is eliciting racial language. He's actually just quoting someone else. Um, so it's, it's just crazy. I mean, all of this, it, you know, he's the latest figure that they're trying to tear down. But the cool piece of news that has happened this week with Rogan is, you know, how he was given a hundred million bucks to go on to Spotify. I mean, could you imagine that? Imagine if Spotify said, hey, John Riley Project, we'll give you a hundred million bucks to come on to Spotify. You know, of course, Spotify did it to bring that audience, you know, with a hundred million downloads on the on their platform and having them exclusive on that platform that's a big win for spotify well there's a new um competitor to youtube that's out there you may have heard of it. it's called rumble and this was sort of put together by a lot of the right wingers that um, are aligned with trump and some of the conservatives that are angry about a lot of their episodes being canceled um, a lot of their episodes on youtube being taken down in some cases you know you can make money on youtube depending on how many viewers you have, how many subscribers you have, um, you can, they'll run ads in your YouTube videos and you can, what they say is monetize your videos. Well, a lot of people have been having their videos taken off of monetization and people were literally just really upset with YouTube. And so they created this new platform called Rumble. And um, they say they're not going to be yanking any content, you know, because they're trying to you know, be a representative of free speech. And I hear this and I'm like, right on. I mean, I think I've got to get the John Riley project on a rumble. Like right now I only live stream on Facebook and YouTube, but I need to get it out on some more platforms. So anyways, rumble, who's the new kid on the block, they offered, they just offered Joe Rogan a hundred million dollars, just like Spotify did. But what they said is, is that if we, if we give you the hundred million dollars, we will not remove any of your episodes because, you know, Spotify did that right when they took Rogan on and Rogan has, I don't know, like 1700 podcast episodes. When he came on to Spotify, he was um, they had a few of his episodes were, were not a few, maybe about 40 of them were removed before Spotify took them on initially. And then over the weekend, there were about another, I don't know, was it 50 or 60 podcast episodes that were removed as well? Um, because someone went through it and they they said someone was saying something that Spotify didn't like. And so those got removed. So Rumble was saying, hey, come on board and we'll give you a hundred million bucks and we won't remove any of your episodes. But then I think, you know, these people at Rumble have that kind of money. I don't know if they do. I pro they probably don't. Maybe is this a publicity stunt? I don't know. Um, but it certainly is something that got my attention. I think it got a lot of other people's attention as well. And I think it's proving 
that there's a lot of money in this podcast business. Now, 